In this video, I'll be breaking down the exact risk management to be taken to an approach of an evaluation prop firm account. Now this video is gonna be slightly different to the normal videos I do on my channel, where they're normally breaking down strategies that I use to trade, um, different ways of ICT concepts and teaching ICT concepts. However, this is gonna be a very important lesson. Now, ideally, I would like you guys to already know the sort of strategy you are trading. Um, if not, just do go over to our YouTube channel and potentially pick out a strategy that works very well for you. They're all very straightforward and very profitable. Once you've actually done that, now you need to understand the risk management side of an approach to take when on prop firm evaluation accounts. Now, some things that I'm going to say in this video may not be what you've heard before, may not be what your typical mentor will say and beat around the bush. I'm going to talk straight to the point and cut all of the bullshit. If you cannot sit through this five minute video, then there is no hope for you in trading whatsoever. These ICT concepts combined with this exact advice I'm going to give in this video is going to make you a different breed of a trader. So do sit throughout this video and understand everything that I'm going to be talking about. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Now we need to understand the exact risk management to take on a prop firm evaluation account as it's one of the most important things to understand that a lot of people let go over their heads. Okay guys, so it's not gonna be your typical approach that you guys think you should be taking and this could be the exact reason why you are not doing it as well as you think you should be. So first things first, okay guys, you need to understand, okay? What prop firm challenge account size do I buy? Okay, that's the first thing that you need to understand. How to actually determine the answer to this question is whatever, right? You can afford. Now this doesn't mean that you've got 500 pound in your savings account and you splash it all in a 100K account. I mean, you need to be able to afford this account over and over and over again, as this peace of mind is very important when trading prop firm evaluation accounts. Knowing that it's not taking a dent into your um, net worth, that's exactly the peace of mind that you need, okay? So whatever you can afford, whether I would, for example, you work a job, you get paid 2,000 a month, right? You stack up for two months, you've got 4,000 pound. Let's say you spend 1,500 of that, okay guys? So you've now got, what is that? 2,500. That 2,500 you've set aside for yourself to change your life, okay? You can now afford, you can even comfortably afford a 100K account. And if you don't wanna do a 100K account, you can go down to a 50K account, which costs roughly around 200 something pounds or $300 or something like that, which is not a lot at all. Now you can afford accounts over and over again. Now the next question you need to ask yourself is, what risk are you trading with per trade? Now this is very important. This is one thing that you guys have not gonna have heard. Now your mentors are probably saying, risk 0.5%, risk 1%, okay, 1% is fair enough. Risking 0.5%, some even say risk 0.25%, no. That is not going to change your life. You need to, your aim of the game, remember, you need to adapt to whatever your, your your goal is. Yes, we always need to be trading the way that we should be trading on a live account. However, you need to pass the challenge. You need to pass the challenges because as soon as you pass these challenge, listen, your life is going to start changing. Okay, so what risk are you going to be taking uh, trading per account? Now, remember, all of these rules are only applicable to an evaluation account, not the live stage not personal accounts, this is the evaluation phase. So, one to 1.5% 1 per trade, okay? This, without hands down, 1.1 to 1.5%, you should never ever be blowing the overall drawdown, which is 10%. You literally have to lose, what? Minimum six trades in a row, seven, eight trades in a row. If you're risking 1%, 10 trades in a row to be blown in FTMO phase one, which should be impossible with the exact teachings I've given you guys on our YouTube. Those strategies do not ever let you win, lose that many trades in a row. Yes, you might lose one, two, but listen, the strategies I give you, literally one trade can make back three losses. So this is why, again, it's very important to be risking uh, one to 1.5%, okay? 
um those of you guys who really got it in you you can do two percent as well um i recommend two percent even on the first phase if you feel like you are you know your strategy you know that you can apply by your rules go for the two percent if you feel like you're a bit of a beginner go for one to 1.5 percent now this is a must yes we're not rushing to pass phases however we need to get it done okay risking 0.5 percent and say you go for a one to two average risk to ratio you're gonna have to literally win 10 trades and how are you listen to this who wins 10 trades in a row okay by the time the person has lost has won three trades and lost two trades those two trades has probably blown three trades that he's won you need to literally be risking this imagine risking 1.5 percent right your average risk to reward is one to two you need to literally win three and a half trades who can't who here cannot win three and a half trades tell me and if you can't do that you need to go back to the drawing board next things for um next so um what else do we need to go over we also need to go over your risk to reward you should be going to obviously a one to two this is now basic one to two minimum however again with the strategies that are being taught you could be getting one to threes one to fours out easily but don't go and squeeze for it a one to two you'll be offered so easily every single day with the strategies these ict strategies and all these ict concepts so these this is the sort of approach you need to be taken to an evaluation account okay so for example let's break it down now 100k account first trade you win risking let's say you're risking let's put it in the middle 1.5 percent uh at one to two risk to ratio you are now three percent up okay second trade you win let's say you want to restore ratio we're just going to go for the basic restore ratio with a 1.5 percent risk okay you're now six percent up third trade you lose okay you lose obviously you lose one r um so six percent take away 1.5 percent which would be 4.5 percent okay losses happen in trading that's the one thing that's guaranteed fourth trade again one to let's say one to three out of a blue moon you catch a one to three at 1.5 percent risk um that will be 4.5 percent gain so you'll be up nine percent you now literally all you have to do is catch not even one r you have to catch what one point something r which will get you to the 10 percent first phase done now tell me who cannot win four trades and that's including one loss who can't do that T -t tell me literally tell me what sounds more doable that or this option first oh first trade 0.5 percent risk one to two risk draw ratio one percent you've gained one percent whereas this you would gain three percent look here look at the difference look how many trades you're gonna have to win if i keep going on and on and i even add a loss that loss is going to be detriment to this look at what makes more sense obviously guys the guys who are going to be taking this you guys need to have a fixed approach to this, um, trading obviously we have a free telegram in the link below we share so much free value into our telegram um so many trade ideas how we actually trade new videos that's going to be coming out um and whoever comes from youtube um we can guarantee you a hft prop fund pass for completely free of charge in celebration of my most recent payouts as you can see i've had a seven thousand dollar payout there um you see the restore that we'll be catching one to fours one to threes which is absolutely crazy uh, another payout we um again lifetime membership for our course is literally 49.99 i don't even think you can get lunch for that nowadays uh the team's absolutely killing it we have a whole course breaking down every single concept in one place with our strategy at the end and then we also do be teaching um all of this in our course as well so hopefully this video did help for you guys and opened your eyes i know it's not something you guys have heard frequently and your mentors have been telling you but this is the approach you need to be taking to evaluation i don't care what you say this is what works and this is what is going to pass your challenge quickly